kids. It's time to do today's the day. So get up and dance with us. behind I'm setting my heart and mind on you Jesus I'm reaching my hand to yours believing there's so much more knowing that all you have in store for me is good it's good today is the day you have made Leaving my doubts behind I'm giving my hopes and dreams to you Jesus I'm reaching my hands to yours Believing there's so much more Knowing that all you have in store for me is good It's good Today is the day Stand upon your truth. I will stand upon your truth. And all my days I'll live for you. All my days I'll live for you. And I will stand upon your truth. I will stand upon your truth. And all my days I'll Hey Slam 
kids, it's time for a God Time Devotion. Grab your take-home paper. It looks just like this. We have started our Base Camp series, and we're learning all about the basics of, of the things that we need on our adventure, which is our lives, okay? And um, you can see behind me yesterday, we talked about wisdom, faith, and friendship, and we're going to continue talking about those basics, all right? So let's look at day two on week one, all right? And let's look down, and let's... See, we're going to read in our Bibles in Job today. So I hope you have your Bibles handy. You can always hit pause and go find your Bible if you need a minute. All right. Um, We're going to Job 28, 28. Now, remember, if you don't have your take-home paper, you should be going and printing it out at riverhills.tv. All right. Because it's so important for us to follow along together. So Job is actually in the Old Testament. And if you look, it's about middle, middle of the Old Testament, right before Psalms. Okay. And you can see it there. It's right after Esther. All right, I'll give you a minute, and um, it's in the Old Testament, obviously. So once you find Job in the table of contents, the, the little number next to it tells you what page number Job starts on. So go ahead and turn in your Bibles to Job. Find the book of Job. Once you find Job, then you're going to look all the way in big number 28, which is chapter number 28. You have to turn a few pages. Once you find big number 28, you're going to look down inside of big number 28 to find verse 28, Okay. So that's the little number 28. It's the last verse in chapter 28. If you need another minute to find it, just hit pause and then play whenever you're ready to continue reading it with me. It says, He said to human beings, Have respect for me. That will prove you are wise. Avoid evil. That will show you have understanding. Wow, so this is exactly the wisdom that we've talked about. So how does it say that we should um, prove that we're wise? By having respect for me. And I think that means, uh, well, I know that means God. It means that's God talking to us. If you have respect for him, then it'll show how wise you really are. All right? So let's read what day two devotion says. So what is the wise choice? That's usually the real question, isn't it? I mean, we we probably all want to make the wise choice. We agree that... Yeah, we want to make that wise choice, but what is that wise choice? Sometimes it's hard to tell, isn't it? The Bible explains that respecting God and obeying His Word is the way to wisdom. If you want to change the world around you, you have to begin with yourself and making sure that you are making right wise choices. The good news is that the Bible is like a, a map helping you to make the right choices, and that's so true. If we're reading our Bibles daily, every day, getting up, and, and reading it and studying it and, and trying to understand it, asking our parents and our, our leaders at church when we have questions. When we're really reading this, it's like a map to how we should be living our lives and how we can make those wise choices, what those wise choices are. So let's make the background for a map that you can use all summer to keep track of what you discover about following God's plan. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make a map and you'll use it all month as we're learning about um, how we can Um, discover new things about how we can grow in wisdom, faith, and friendship, okay? So let's keep reading. Ask a parent if they can brew some coffee or tea for you and let it cool off. So you'll need mom mom or dad's help. Ask them, hey, can you brew some coffee or do you have any leftover tea or anything um, sitting around? Make sure you let it cool off before you use it. Get a plain sheet of white paper and crumple it up. So let's do that. If you want to hit pause and do this activity right with me, Um, Go ahead and hit pause and go grab your piece of paper. And when you come back, we'll do it together. All right, so we're going to take our paper. And we're going to ball it up in as tight as you can. Ball it as small as you can. And then we'll open it back up. Slowly but surely. And hope you're doing this with me. It's probably not super exciting to watch me do this. But if you're doing it along with me, you'll have tons of fun. All right? So I've got it balled up, and I'm just going to crinkle even the edges a little bit more because you know how maps, like treasure maps, they look all wrinkled and kind of almost soft? Well, if you keep doing this, and you can do it even more than I'm doing it, you can hit pause and keep working on your paper and keep crumpling it up and then and spreading it back out, and eventually the paper will actually feel kind of soft, almost like fabric, okay? And you can even have a little tear in there, you know, because treasure maps are probably normally we see or we think of treasure maps as being old and maybe torn a little bit on the edges. All right, so my paper's kind of wrinkly, okay? You can see that. It's a little bit wrinkled, but um, it's still pretty white, you know? So let's read what the next part says. Then flatten it out again, so we did that. Use a brush or paper towel to dip into the cool drink, which is your tea or your coffee, and paint to the edges and over the creases of the paper. Let it dry and put it somewhere safe. 
So that's what we're going to do. So I've got some coffee here and it's cold because it's it's old and I actually put a little ice in it so that might be a, a trick to um, cool it down so that you can use it quicker. And then I've got a little paint brush here and it's it's old but it'll work for this. You can always always use a paper towel as well. So um, you're going to dip it in your, in your um, coffee and just paint it on. And as you can see, as you're doing this with me, and I hope you are, it'll, it's making your creases especially look very dark and kind of, kind of old. Like it's kind of, um, it's kind of been through a lot, right? Kind of like an old piece of paper, like a treasure map would look. So you're gonna do this for your whole piece of paper, all the way to the edges, like it said. And if you take a look at the middle where I painted it, it looks a little darker, more like a treasure map, I think. And that's exactly our goal. So this is going to be our map all month. And we're going to write on here the different things that we learn throughout the month about how we can be growing in our friendship and with God and how we're going to grow in our relationship with God through this wisdom and faith and friendship. All right. So I've got it all done now. It's probably a little more wet than it needs to be. It's kind of flimsy. So now you're going to put it away somewhere and just put it aside, let it dry, okay? Um, and then we'll use it again on our next devotion, all right? So make sure you do this because you're going to need it for the rest of the week. Um, now let's look back at day two. So we've already done all of the, what the devotion told us to do. The bottom tells us that we need to ask. Ask God to give you wisdom to make the right choices. And we do. We, we, need, we need God's help, you know. We, can re, we, need our, we need to read our Bibles and we need to be in our Word. But you know what? If we're reading our Bible and we're not asking for God's help and we're not really understanding his word and we're not really seeking after him and letting his spirit um, fill us up, then his word's not going to, probably not going to do much in our lives. We need his help. So we need to pray to him and ask him to help us to make those wise choices. So let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we love you and we thank you um, for your word that you've given us. God, we thank you that it is a map for our lives. And we just ask you that as we read your word and as we're committed to reading your word, that you will just um, help it to just light up before our eyes and help us to really understand it. Help things to pop off the page at us and, 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 and be able to apply it to our lives, God. We just ask you that, that we would be able to get this wisdom out of your word and that we would be able to make the wise choice every day that we'll always know what you would have us do. Um, and we just thank you for guiding us in Jesus' name. And I want you to um, pray that prayer um, as every time you read the Bible, right before you read, say, God, show me wisdom or, or speak to me or whatever you want to say. A little prayer asking God to help you understand what you read before you read the word. And then wisdom will fill up in your heart and in your mind and you'll be able to make those wise choices. All right. So make sure you're praying that prayer. All right. And stay tuned for some worship. Hey Slam Kids, this is a really awesome song. It's called Supernatural. So wherever you are, just stand up on your feet and let's get ready to dance and worship our God.
Great job, you guys. Stay tuned for some more Slam Kids TV. All right, guys, this is a worship song. It's called I Could Sing of Your Love Forever. When we really think about God's love, it's so awesome that we could just sing about it forever and ever. So wherever you are, worship with us with I Could Sing of Your Love Forever. Over the mountains and the sea, your river runs with love for me. And I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth, and I will daily lift my hands. For I will always sing of when your love came down. Sing it again. Over the mountains and the sea, your river runs with love for me. Oh, yeah. Father, we love you so much. Lord, we thank you for your amazing love. When we really think about it, when we, when we really start to understand your love, Lord, we can't help but worship you and thank you for your love and sing about your love. Lord, help us to, to come back next week and help us to have a, a wonderful day in you and do everything for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen.